Hey guys, uh, long time no see. I hope everybody enjoyed their Christmas. I should be getting some of the footage together of uh, our Christmas to share with you guys for anyone who's interested. I am 27 weeks. I missed last week because of all the holidays and stuff. Busy, busy, but uh, it's been decently. Um, I don't know the word that I'm looking for. Okay, well, I'll start off with that. So, pregnancy brain is legit. With both of the boys, it kind of felt a creeping up on me. But, like, overnight I realized, oh, I kind of feel stupid. But with this one, it's like the part of me, like the part of my brain that's alive, you can actually think, um, is sitting here behind, like, a wall or a cloud or something. And I kind of know what's going on, but then, like, the, the pregnancy brain that makes me feel like an idiot and uh, say dumb things and not think at all and can't remember anything is just just showing itself with bright colors and it's killing me. I feel like such a dummy all the time. It's getting really bad and I could cry <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I think it took, I was starting to feel better from being pregnant on Clyde and the whole mommy brain and stuff which I is a legit thing. It's legit. Um, I started to feel better, like my brain was coming back right before I got pregnant with this little thing, and uh, now it's gone again. <laughs> it's only getting worse. A lot of that, I think, has to do with me being exhausted. I've been having horrendous sciatic, um, like my sciatic nerve, sciatica, which I usually get on my right side. Um, oh, sorry, but I've been having, on top of the SPD, I've been having horrendous sciatic problems, and, um, it gets to the point, what do you say? What do you say if you burp? All of Excuse me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, the chiropractor has helped a bit, a little bit. I have to sleep with, like, it's just been awful. Um, I end up having to... I realized last night that if I, what? No, you say it. <laughs> We're having a girl about Eleanor. What's her name? Eleanor. Eleanor? Yeah. It's for sure a girl, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. What happens if forever. it's... It's taking forever. What happens if it's a boy? Like a woman. <laughs> well, we'll see. There's, there's still a stop, please. There's still a chance that it's. Oliver, I asked you to stop, please. There's still a chance that it's a boy. You know that, right? <laughs> mhm. Mm Sucker, mama. Uh, yeah. All right. You want to go and sit with your dad? Oh. Well, then you have to sit on my lap and stop talking. <laughs> um, last week, at some point, I uh, was sitting down doing nothing, and the baby, between my abdominal separation, the baby kicked, and I don't know. What's that? It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, but it moved its little, it was either a heel or an elbow, and I caught it between that separation because there's really nothing. There's no muscle. There's just skin and placenta and uterus between the baby and me. So I actually caught it. It was so weird. It was bony and it was hard. It was weird. But, um, and then a little bit, a few days later, Tony came in and he rubbed my belly, like, decently vigorously. Not, like, painful or anything. Just rubbed it. Um, in a little circle, and it, like, energized the baby. I don't know what was up with that, but it literally kept me up all night, kicking and moving and going absolutely insane, like it had an adrenaline rush for nine hours. But I woke up, and my abdomen was actually sore from how many, how much it kicked. Um, the baby... Yeah, was... your belly is trying, trying. My belly was trying to what? 
your belly was trying to kick? Yeah, I want the baby to kick. Yeah? Do you feel the baby kick a lot? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. You're mumbling really bad, kid. <laughs> I know. The baby loves Tony. He can feel the baby kicks for you bad all the time. <laughs> kicks for you too all the time, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you're going to have to go now. What? Because I can't concentrate with you sitting here pulling faces. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. Go with your dad. Stink face. Um, that was really hard to concentrate. I'm not with it enough. Oh, see? And I'm just, I'm just everywhere. Back to the sciatic nerve, getting that sleep. The boys are getting bunk beds. Um... We've just said, I can't sleep with Clyde anymore. I'm averaging like three hours of sleep every night. Like, because it's interrupted all night long. So, it's like together, it's like three hours of sleep. Um, on top of my hips hurt so bad, it just feels like they're being ripped apart. Just awful. And I can't actually step on my left leg half the day. So, I realized last night that I, if I crawl, <laughs> Which just sounds ridiculous, but if I crawl, then it's not so bad. But Tony's here, and he helps me out a lot, so I'm thankful for that. But because of, um, I've been waking up, it was only like a couple of times a month, and now it's uh, almost every morning I wake up, and my whole front of my abdomen is super sore. It's because of my abdominal separation. It, um in the baby kicking in so much weight like when I lay on my side the baby is totally like flopped on one side obviously so it's pulling on those muscles and my other muscles are kind of not attached to the kind so it just really hurts my stomach so I'm gonna have to start belly binding I might do a video on that if I find any there's a couple of cool ways but I don't know if they'll work out for sleeping or not we'll see I have been trying because the like at home Dopplers, Dopplers anyways, they're not good for your baby. Um, you should look into them. The effects that uh, like a home Doppler or even in hospital when they use them way too often, just like ultrasounds, uh, the damage that it can do, uh, you'll be pretty surprised at what it can affect. So I've, oh, I've had a, sorry. Mm. I've had a fetoscope since I think it was like 12 weeks on Clyde and I found his heartbeat at like 14 weeks and I found it every single time I ever tried to find his heartbeat and with this baby I started trying it like 12 weeks almost every single week I'm 27 weeks now and it just let me hear it I think it was yesterday or the day before and it was only for like seconds seconds uh, if you watch my videos, I've probably talked about this before, I'll put it down when the baby is perfectly still, and um, I'll put the cone on, I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like next time, <laughs> but I'll put the cone on my belly, and the baby will kick it and roll away every single time, but um, the other day, it was for like, I found it, and I listened to it for literally like four seconds, and Tony came in the door, and I'm just, oh, because everything has to be quiet. And then he shut the door and I heard it for maybe just a couple more seconds and the baby kicked and rolled away. Rolled away. So that was that was sweet. It was bittersweet because I heard it for like less than 10 seconds, but it was sweet. Um, and everybody says, because Clyde was way more lazy than this child, that uh, the bigger they get, the, more, the less they move. Like, they eat the less it's not as easy for them to move. Um, the more weight they gain and the longer they get. So I can find the heartbeat easier, but thus far, the baby is still flipping from breech to head down <sighs> at least three times a day. It's pretty uncomfortable. I still love it, but it's it's pretty uncomfortable because it like it sits me straight up. I can't I can't move because there's a solid little little thing in there like flipping transverse and ah but so that's fun mm. the baby gets hiccups at least once a day every day uh 
more than likely it's two or three times a day and it's been doing that for well over since early I want to say 20 weeks close to that I I don't remember I said it in a different video uh, which is actually decently early and it doesn't matter what I eat so I don't think it's I mean obviously it could be connected to that um, but for the most part, even if I eat bland stuff where I don't eat it all, the baby will have hiccups. So that's cute. Sweet. Um, it's the easiest way for me to tell if the baby is head up or head down because I either have hiccups like in my crotch or behind my hip bones or really high. Um, I just ordered my birth tub. When it comes, I will do a video on that too. I'm super excited. I was going to get an Oasis Eco birth tub. Um, it's like seventy odd dollars plus like twenty five in shipping, and that's just not really in our budget because I have to save up for um, photographer, birth photographer, maternity and newborn and all that. So I was kind of bummed, and then I went to look on eBay instead because the f it's called a fishy pool. The one that I um, bought it's by Intex and it literally has fish on it it's supposed to be a kiddie pool but it's a blow-up padded bottom so a lot of people use them for birth tubs and um, so on Amazon they hike that price up from 30 bucks to like almost a hundred before shipping which is just insane but I just found it on eBay for like 40 bucks and then like 16 shipping so it ended up being a little bit less than $60 shipped which I'm super excited about beats the heck out of almost a hundred so I actually ordered that so I'm super excited because I should be able to have a birth photographer and everything and my birth tub and we're getting the spare room all cleaned out and organized so that's where I'm going to labor and all that stuff because I'm pretty sure the boys are gonna end up being here um, we will see kind of vocal <laughs> so I don't want to kick them out but they and Clyde is older so he shouldn't be as clingy and Oliver he's just he's just older in his head he's a very old soul so I think he might want to he might want to be around we'll see I am definitely not opposed to him being around if he's not scared and if he's comfortable I'm not gonna make him do anything but if he wants to be then uh, sure Nobody's going to get in the tub with me. I don't see that happening. I, I personally don't want somebody else's germs in there with me, but like Tony, he won't get in the pool. No way. Uh, Clyde, he's a dirty little butt. That little boy, you get him out the shower and his butt stinks immediately. I don't even understand. But Clyde, or Ollie, he's sweet, but I just don't really want anybody else in there with me. They can stand to the side. They can watch, I don't care. I am, I just ordered some more lining so I can make more diapers for this little thing. I'm going to do that, a video on that. So that's about three videos. I'm gonna have to watch this and write it down of all my video ideas of all of my diapers and what I prefer. Try to kind of like break it down with giving some ideas, but not really try to, like educate but not overwhelm if anybody is interested in cloth diapers and stuff I'm also going to probably talk about cloth pads postpartum pads all that good stuff because it happens because that's what happens when you have a child also <laughs> I'll show you guys you like my shirt I've never been like Minus, this is the first year I've ever been gifted anything from anybody that I don't personally know. Which typically I don't, I'm not a huge fan of gifts anyways, they make me feel bad. But, um, I got the belly band. I'm always out of breath. Which, here's a little education lesson. Women can, pregnant women can get out of breath sooner in pregnancy. Usually they're like, oh, the baby is, you know, getting bigger and smashing your lungs and that's why you're out of breath. Not 100% true. For the women who end up getting out of breath previous to the baby actually being large is because your blood volume, the more blood you have, the more oxygen, or the more your 
you need to oxygenate it, which means you have to breathe more. So you get out of breath when you're talking because you know, you're getting excited. You're pumping more blood and blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, oh, gifts. But a woman, super sweet, she uh, made this sweater and she shows me randomly projects that she sews and stuff because I, I like crafty women, crafty people. And uh, I loved it. I fell in love with it. And she was like, oh, well, you can have it. I'm like, no, what do you want for it? But she gave it to me. She sent it to me. How freaking sweet is that? It was right before Christmas. I love it. That was so soft. And I don't fit into any of my clothes. I don't fit into anything at all. <laughs> I'm down to, like, I have one pair of jeans, maternity jeans. I have, like, two pairs of leggings. And luckily, I was just given some pajama pants. So I was down to like two pairs of pajama pants. <laughs> now I'm up to six or seven, which is nice because it's winter and we don't go anywhere. And I like being comfy. So Ollie's so freaking cute. I just can't concentrate with him because my brain doesn't function anyway. But yeah, this I don't think I can get far enough back. It's super long. It goes way underneath my butt. I love it. But so my pants are all rolled up. This is it with the shirt on. Try to fix this before I scar you guys. This is it. I'm getting fat. You can see my love handles, but. Little baby. I don't know which way it is right now. It's a lot wider than it is. But, yep. It's at 27 weeks. This one is, it is carrying a lot higher than the boys. It's almost like I'm pregnant in my throat. But, um, it still scratched the crap out of my bladder, so. <laughs> but, hope you guys enjoyed me rambling. Um, feel free to visit my two tots and two knots. Gonna change that name, by the way, once the baby's here. Um, on Facebook. I update on that most of the time. Sometimes I... I don't know, I barely make it through the day sometimes, so I don't post on it or do anything else. But, okay, go and visit that if you guys want, and I will see you for my next video, whichever one that's going to be. So, bye!